liking me has, is none of my business. It's set, stuck. Done. Mm. Hi. Hey, Glover. Hey, God. All right, yeah. You on a world tour. <laughs> Where are we headed to now? Brunch! Uh -oh. I mean, are we inside or are we outside? Oh, wait, outside. yeah. <laughs> we're outside? Are we oh, inside or are we outside? Oh, okay. Well, at least it's a nice day, thankfully. You know we're outside because you wanted to keep I did, didn't I? I can feel the drip. Oh, it's <laughs> muddy. I'm so irritated. Oh my gosh. Did you see my dress, by the way? I love it. A little bit of breeze. I know. It was a little breeze. That is good. Oh, I don't alone. Alone. I love their fragrances. Oh, I don't want to go inside Glen Cleef. I want to go take a look at something, but. Hi. Hi. Wow, I've never been taller than you. It's actually crazy. You told me right now? Yeah, it's the shoes. Because your shoes. Show us your outfit, please, because hi. hi. Shoes. Not high, high. Hi, hi. Hi. Shoes, Amazon. Okay. Skirt, I really think it's she from a while ago. Okay. Shirt is blue, blue. Okay. Purse. Ooh. Oh, okay. That was very aggressive. We have, a, we have our Gucci watch. Okay. We have our Hermes. Ooh. And we have Amazon Sunnies. And, and, and we're the curls the curl courtesy of. of. Okay. Courtesy of me. Okay. <laughs>
right? And if, if it gets dingy, I don't, don't want to deal. You are, you're just going to pay me. Yep. <laughs> I'm just going to buy it again. Yep. But why does it get dingy? Yeah. The fun. armpits get yellow. It be getting stains on it. The hell out of here. <laughs> I need this to be fresh. You feel me? Oh, this is going to be so awkward. So it's by color. So if I have a white hoodie, it's going right there. Yeah. What in the world? Ugh. And then you okay. just organize it by... So like... You'll do like, well, I usually do mine, like all the tank tops and then short sleeve, long sleeve. You don't want shirts and then maybe wow. like sweaters. And then you can do like dresses behind that and then pants. This is so restrictive. But in the gym. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, it just feels like punishment. Why is it punishment? Because you, when you, when I come into my laundry, I got to remember, okay, but the, the thing pants is, go right here. Yeah, that's the thing. It's already done, though. So all you have, to, your eyes going to go automatically to it. Does he? Does he? Does he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't even, all the guesswork is already done for you. Mm -hmm. Do you like these? Listen, huh? I have not worn them yet, but I, I like, yeah. I, I want to, I had I went them. to go get them. Oh, yeah? So like a white pair of shoes I can use them, mm -hmm. but they were sold out. Oh. And then, but they said they were coming back. But I was wondering if you wore them, if you like them. No, I haven't worn them yet. It's a cute staple to have. Because, you know, now that it's hotter, I I feel like closed toe is just slimy. But I do agree. it's too late. I just will wear them in the <laughs> fall. Yeah, it's just, I have wear them in the fall. They're too slimy. Your toes need to breathe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Were you wearing this somewhere? I was going to, but I have not, so it can go away. Man, yeah, I like knowing that this is the winter stuff. This is okay. So this is this is really making. Well, you me can keep itch. your winter stuff over there if you if that makes you happy. And this can just be all this stuff organized. Um, and we can just color coordinate that stuff on that side. Okay, because here's the thing: I have gym stuff right here too. We can, we can organize your gym stuff as one thing. You know, that blazer is not gym. That's the thing. So I had coats over here. Oh, right, right, right. And I have coats over here. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I do have an entryway, the entryway closet, but it's <laughs> full of stuff. And I, if, I'm just, if I'm getting dressed, I'll forget that I have stuff. It's over there. Yeah, that is, that's valid. That's so, valid. what are you, do you think winter should be here with, so winter here mm -hmm. and then everything else here, but still in the scheme? Yeah, but. Yeah, you can do winter here. You can do your workout clothes in the front half and then your winter in the back. Since you're not going to be accessing your coats as much. Cool. But you're just like you're here because you access that a bit more. Cool. Just so many things happening. So many things are happening. You change your mind. I bring it here because I feel like if it's close to me, I'll remember to do something with it. And then, and then I don't have anything with it. You know what I mean? This case, we should hang on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Is that what you're going to say? Was it pants? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I hit my old hairstylist when she wore mean. lipstick to bed. Mm -hmm. Red lipstick every night. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> stop. Excuse me? She's an older woman. She wears red lipstick to bed every night. And then she, I, I told her there's no freaking way. She <laughs> called her husband. And, and he, he said, confirmed he confirmed. that she wears red lipstick to bed. She's, I was like, what? She said, yeah, it's just something that I just, I just feel like I need to put on lips. You wear this? You like this? It's probably gonna be big on me. It's a two piece situation. Yeah, it's just like a like a just a knockabout. And I was like, wow. Now, you know, I don't know what that's all about, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. It's, it's insane. Like, I'm sure it makes your nervous system feel good it when does. things are organized, it's just, clean. Yeah. It's a nervous system thing. I you feel. Do believe everything has a place. Yeah, yeah, you feel good when things are clean and organized. You yeah. feel unsettled when they're not. And I'm the same way I hear you. Some things I can tolerate, like the colors being mixed in. But <laughs> even when you did the pantry, I've loved it. So yeah. when it's done, it is really nice. So I do appreciate it.
use the oil in the shower. I'm so annoyed. Let me, let me do my skincare and then my body. I can't do my body and then face because I don't want my body cream on my face. And it's just odd to me. All right, I'm going to use the Strivectin Hydration Multiplier. I gotta clean my nose too. I didn't clean my face thoroughly because it's the morning time. You know that my skin is usually dry. So there's no need to wash my face per se in the morning. So what I did was I cleaned my eyes and then left whatever moisturizer I had on my face yesterday on, which is not a lot because at night my skin gets really dry. So oh, it's not a lot anyway, you feel me? So there's no need for me to, <laughs> I'm trying to go fast. There's no need for me to wash my face. What is dirty is the eyes and that's what I rinsed off, you feel me? All right, so that was to add hydration. And then I've been in love with this Clinique 100 hour moisture surge, moisture surge 100 hour. It's a gel based moisturizer, melts right into the skin. So good. I love it. Where did I let that fall? Today I'm headed to the city because I'm going to an event. What's so crazy is I don't know if there just aren't a lot of events that happen in Houston, or perhaps I don't get invited to them. But I do know that sometimes I'm invited and I can't go because the times just don't work for me. For instance, weeknights don't work for me. So I have missed some events because of that. So let me not say. There do be events. I mean, it's not it's not LA. There do be events, but sometimes I just can't go. But I can go to this one. It's for Huda Beauty, which is exciting. It's for their new Easy Bake Powder. It's for the Easy Bake Powder, right? But they're going to be teaching us how to bake it and snatch baked and snatch you know that yeah it's about that <laughs> baked and snatch i've been surprisingly enjoying this catrice tinted lip oil maybe you can't see it right now because it's almost done i'm bad but enough but it be giving my lips a tint and that is a shock because i've never used tinted lip oils until now i didn't even like the whole idea just say though sps it and now i'm in love with it maybe it's just a phase but now I am in love with it. Okay, I can see a little bit. It's a light tint, light pink. So I put into my Amazon cart some of the other, and I want to say colors, but I do understand that they're, are they flavors? Whatever, they're colors. I mean, the, the outside is the, the, the product is a different color. So it is other colors. I just put my SPF on my eyes. Canon should definitely do that. What I've been skipping out on is using my Scar Gel Cream. And oh, dang it, good Lord. Oh, my, oh this is actually done my scars are still so damn itchy i can't stand it goodness gracious i literally just can't stand it, it upsets me so much it just it just it, it's just so badly how do you walk around in the world with itchy scars and i'm gonna use the josie marin body butter now i will say i don't like this scent but i like the way that it feels this is topless tangerine i like the way that it makes my skin feel and look so I'm going to use it. So the formula is fantastic. I just don't enjoy this topless tangerine scent. I don't want tangerine on my body. Maybe it's too tangerine. Perhaps I need some more vanilla in here. The other one I had, I can't even think of the name. The other refill, I really, really loved. Really loved. I mean, we killed that one. But this one, I'm going to use it though because it's good. You feel me? Ooh, I've got a big hole in here. I'm going to do my short wig because it's easy. Oh, let me turn this around. It's a huge hole. It's easy and why not? I love my slip back look. I've been getting so tired of doing it. Every day, it's annoying. The gelling and the washing and the laying it down and then the edges. So I've been doing the wig for a little bit, but I won't lie to you, I'm tired of this too. I just love change with my hair. I love a good change with my hair. Why not? I want to get braids, but I don't need braids if more than a week. Week and a half if you're lucky. Because. Ew, I don't like dusty braids at all. I don't like that. I do not like that. I can't deal with it. All right, here's my got to be glue on my edges, okay? Oh, and for that reason, for the braids, that's why I normally do them for vacation. And I take them out when I come back. I see I'm home right now. My vacation hasn't come yet. So I want the braids for something new. So who knows? We'll see. When I brush this while the fan is on, it helps it dry faster. But then what happens is it dries my contacts. So I close my eyes while I do it. So I've been doing it this way and then tying it down to expedite the drying process. Now you can see my lip tint. The pink, 
so cute. I wonder if it got darker after a while. Because it didn't look this pink when I first put it on. I think it does get darker. Alrighty, here I am now at the vanity and we're gonna get ready. <sighs> I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. I decided to take a, a car service to downtown because I can use that because I also forgot about traffic. So I can use that time to be editing. We're just resting my eyes versus having to stay awake for an hour in the car. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. But I did pack my I did pack my I feel like I have a student pack in my lunch bag. I did pack my freaking, you get it, my materials so that I can use my computer. Ooh, not this getting all dark on you. Okay, so here we are. And this needs to go back. This be sticking after a while. So we're going to tear this back, you feel me? And what time? I need to hurry up. I need to bring it into school and then go i completely underestimated the traffic i just forgot because i don't often be going to downtown in the morning like this that's the problem is the morning time you feel me what i'm glad the event is at 10 because they recognize that hello big city big traffic let's take off this gloss it's so pretty let's take it off <laughs> let me check my teeth i need to whiten i'm so annoyed because my toothpaste holds me over so i don't be in a rush see the pink I don't be in a rush to actually whiten my teeth, but I could use a good whiten. I don't know. All right, MAC Prep and Prime Lip because I still believe in primers. Hello. And that's important. And if you're wondering, I changed, I, I had a Nest candle in there and I changed it. This is back to Forever Mood. What's it called? Grown Folks Business, baby. Oh, where's my? Oh, I packed my iPad. So let's listen to something that's going to add. Oh, I already listened to this. Nedra Glubba Tawaba. Hey, Tawab. Mm -hmm. Nedra Glubba. Oh, God, my accent. Nedra Glubba. Jesus. Nedra Glubba. Mm -hmm. Hey, Glover. Hey, God. Nedra Glover. Mm -hmm. Glow in the va. You feel what I'm saying? She, her podcast is fantastic. All right, let's hear what she got to say. This is called Be an Advocate for Low Chaos. And I'm the one that when I stumble upon a new podcast, I'm going back to day one. Although this is from last year. And I still want to hear what she got to say. She'd be telling us all the good things that we need to know. I opened up a new Gucci foundation. Can you imagine? That's how good this stuff is. Oh, okay, yeah. Did I tell you that they said no under eye makeup because we're gonna be doing the whole snatched thing, right? But there's no freaking way that I can just not have on under eye makeup. What? That doesn't make any sense to me. So I hope that they have makeup wipes. I'm sure they will. It's a makeup masterclass. They need to have makeup wipes. And then I'm gonna just wipe off my under eye when I get there. I cannot do my whole entire face without under eye. That's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work for me. At all. all right real techniques 261 brush oh my god i'm so annoyed because i wanted to change the setting so that the white balance is not auto because when it's auto whenever i move my arm it darkens out and i don't have time to even I, I forgot how to change it on this camera see it just got dark right now oh gosh i'm gonna have to just turn this off then you can't watch me doing makeup because I, I also yeah unless oh god see it's keep it keeps on transitioning okay i think i got it i'm on manual now but now i feel like my skin looks very orange who knows i'll if i need to i'll fix it in post i just had to go to the settings i know there was a shortcut in the back of the camera on how to do it but i couldn't that's what i was getting tripped up on but i went to the menu in the settings and i figured it out hello shooting mode and then what was it shooting mode and then i had unintelligent auto that's where it automatically changes the brightness depending on the environment so i took that off but now my 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 top looks so white whatever i don't have time to think about that right now so we're gonna just go on but yeah this color looks extremely light and then it melts right into the skin so so good so it works it works very well yo i recently went viral on a youtube shorts and although it's exciting 
and it has grown my page a bit, not tremendously, it is a problem because the virality isn't always good. It comes with so many new faces and I don't normally have to deal with a lot of this trash that I'm seeing now. I got these comments from all of these random freaking people and they don't all look like spam, although they might be, I don't know. It's just so disturbing. The stuff that people say, are they okay? Thanks the Lord that my validation does not come from the outside. Anyone or anything on the outside. That's not where my validation comes from. So I always give God the glory. This is my usual LIS, bronzer, worthy deep. I always give God the glory that no matter what these people say, it doesn't bother me. Do I get a little agitated on some occasions? Yeah, and I'll clap back. But does it make me lose sleep at night? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I give God all the glory for that because I know that for some people, it does make them lose sleep. And that that can just be so detrimental because this stuff is just, this stuff is serious. This is a Mario, what? It just says Mario. Oh, F4 brush. Nice. I like how it fits right here. Oh my gosh, people are just so freaking rude. They make so many assumptions about you. you this is your first time on my page. You start spinning kind of stuff. People love to give me advice on my brows. And uh, yo, I never have asked anybody if they liked my eyebrows. I've never even asked anybody if they liked me, you know? Because you liking me has, is none of my business. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It really is a you problem. And if you don't like me, that is okay because I don't like a lot of people. I can tolerate a lot of people and things. I can play well with a lot of people and things, but I don't like a lot of people and things. You feel me? And that's okay, I don't have to. I'm not here to like them. And then I hate to like me, you feel what I'm saying? It's just, it's just wild to me how people, how people feel like their opinion really truly matters and that they are entitled to give it to you and that you're just supposed to take it. This internet stuff is is truly a blessing and a curse. Okay, let me get more of my stick bronzer. <clears throat> and this is the Sephora 14 brush. It's for the eyes. However, I love using it to contour my nose. Well, I just filmed a video. It, it'll be it'll be out by the time you see this vlog. And I talked about adult relationships because I've gotten that question in the past and you wanted to know how I maintain them. <laughs> how do we do it? Because it's just so different. It's a whole different ball game when you're grown up trying to have friends. You feel me? Wait, okay, let me do it. The, let, me, let me do it this way. And I'm excited about that. This, I actually had to change the podcast because for some reason the album wasn't working. This is me on the journey of maintaining relationships. It aired June 1st. Again, Nedra Glover Tawab. Let's see what she's talking about. This week, we will be talking about making new friends and maintaining oh. friendships. Oh, she's talking right about that. to be transplant to Charlotte, North Carolina oh. more than 10 years ago. I oh. moved to Charlotte from Detroit, Michigan, and it was very lonely at first. All of my really close friendships were back in Detroit. And I remember going out and being in social settings, texting my close friends in Detroit. And I realized that, you know, one of the things that will really help me enjoy this new season of life is to meet new people, to really get into some new healthy relationships. And a big thing for me, I could not compare these new connections to the people who've known me since middle school. Building new friendships is going to look a little different than those old friendships that I have. So today's caller will talk about being in a space in life and needing new friends. And sometimes this happens for us when we make a life shift. Perhaps we become parents, we move to a new place, we shed some of those old parts of ourselves, so many different reasons we may need new friendships so loneliness loneliness is when we do not feel connected in a way that we like to sometimes we're around people and we still feel lonely because it's not and that is a that is a very that's a that's a point that i want to touch on 
Isn't it wild that you can literally be in the presence of people in relationship with people and still feel lonely? Absolutely. Perhaps you feel like these people don't get you or they're not paying attention to you or you don't even feel comfortable to open up to them. But for some reason, you got to be in relationship with them. Maybe it's coworkers, maybe it's a group of people in a class or something like that and you're like okay <laughs> these are not my people and i still got to be around them for x amount of time per week or per month per day and i feel invisible because they don't get me or i don't feel like i fit in that's crazy and that definitely has happened why is my data I'm not playing games we want to be with or the connections are not deep uh, and unfortunately the only cure the connections are not deep i want to stop there because i am a person who prefers quality over quantity okay i don't care about having 10 friends but i do want to have deep connection so if i have deep connection with two or three people that's cool with me the deep connection is important i know how to have acquaintances you feel me i mean we've all got acquaintances people that you know but they're not your friend and that's another thing i need to work on not everyone is a friend and that's not an insult what is a friend and what is an acquaintance there's definitely a difference there's got to be a difference not everyone can be your friend like, i don't even know your middle name we're not friends like what we're acquaintances and when do you transition from an acquaintance to friendship well that is the question. Auntie has this skin Sephora Micro Smooth Powder 85. That is a question that needs to be talked about. Not everybody's a friend. I don't even know your mom. I've never even met your parents. How are we friends? <laughs> I mean, don't we, don't you know your friend's parents? You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, what? How? I mean, aren't there levels to it? Word to loneliness is connection. It is finding people who are your people. It takes time. It is possible, and it's something that, with practice, we can learn to do a better job of. Often as adults, adulthood leads us away from friendships, maybe more into, you know, our relationships with our partner, or kids, or work, and all these other things. But friendship is really important. It sustains our life. You know, there's so many research studies about how people with healthy friendships live longer. So I consider friendship building to be a self-care practice. Mm -hmm. Let's listen to a bit from today's caller. Hi, Nedra. I'm 36 and I'm getting... Ooh, this is a new Denise Myrick's color, what you call it, the blush? And honey, I forgot that when it's new and it's not dirty, meaning it doesn't have any product on it, girl... <laughs> <laughs> we're getting color payoff okay wow <laughs> we're getting color payoff hello how are you how are you how are you <laughs> how are you today <laughs> wow hello color you came outside to play today come out come out wherever you are you are here yeah you are you indeed are <laughs> oh boy all right this is going to be so odd when I go wipe this eye off and then bake it and whatever. I mean, are they going to give us blush? I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know what that's going to look like. <laughs> We're going to see. We're going to see very soon. There is nothing you cannot do. Protocol breaker. Yes. Good morning. Hi, thank you. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could stare at you for a hundred years and I never blink and I you were beautiful, just like a flower. Oh, oh my I could walk with you for a million miles, and my feet would not get tired. Where you go, I'll go. Winds or the summer. Thank you. I'm gonna laugh. I didn't realize. Oh my god. I don't care. The seasons change. Hi. Good morning. Darling, I'll stay. I'll stay. I'll stay right here with you. Mm -hmm. Every 
you safe while you were dreaming You could scream and shout, cry a thousand tears And I wouldn't let fear win But you feel I feel together we're healing I don't care the seasons change Isn't it so easy for you to find your shade out there, beauty? Because we have pink or peach and we have a range of tones that are gonna fit your complexion best. So, on my incredible, beautiful models, Cleaver, on Team Pink with me, we're gonna be starting with the shade Pink Pomelo. Mm -hmm. I love this shade because it's kind of a little in between. We have, you know, Cherry Blossom, which is that really beautiful light pink shade that Jess mentioned that we just launched. And we also have a deeper, richer pink shade from the Lychee. It's actually the industry's first ever pink color corrector for deep skin tone, which is crazy to me that it hasn't been done before. But those pink shades are going to be better for maybe more brightening. What's nice about pink pomelo is it's right in between. It's almost a little salmony, so you're getting a little bit of that peach with the pink and just a beautiful, perfect balance. So let's get started. Oh, and also to set the scene, sorry, I didn't say this earlier. We want you to just enjoy the first half of the class. So don't worry about keeping up with us, doing your makeup at the same time. We're gonna do the demo first, okay, show you everything, you can just take it all in, then it'll be your turn. We'll come around, we'll be able to help you find your perfect match or shades or whatever you might need. Or if you just want a little help or tips or tricks, we can come over. We also have our incredible team of Houston-based makeup artists here with us. So you're getting the best of the best. <laughs> so relax, enjoy, and we'll get started. So, Taylor has already such a beautiful complexion, but she does have a little bit of that darkness under the eye. We just want instantly color correct. And so you will see what a difference this instantly makes. So just a little bit, I'm starting right in that inner corner, because that's usually where most of us have the most under eye concerns. And you can just start to press that in. It is a really, really lightweight texture. But look already, I haven't been fully blended it. It melts right into her skin and just creates this beautiful, even tone. For days that I really don't want to be bothered, I'll just put my color corrector on and leave mm. the house. It gives you that evenness and it's super, super lightweight. So looking already from side to side, just that beautiful softness it gave. And then now I can go really bright in her under eye and create that beautiful snatched effect that it does every day. And with color correction too, it's really going to be personal to you and your concerns. Maybe you have a little hyperpigmentation around your mouth that you want to even out. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're like me and have some acne scars that you want to just balance, or maybe you just want to brighten and feel super fresh. Beautiful. I love it. It's my favorite step of makeup, and I feel like it can be a little intimidating, but it just looks so beautiful. So while I finish the other side, I'm passing it off to you, too. And you can see from one side to the other, how it's just balancing out and then the other to the other side. And you mentioned there's vitamin C, there's also niacinamide, so you are getting those long-term benefits. The more you use this, it will start to lighten any of that darkness in the skin. This is why it's so important to find that perfect shade for you. If we went in with like a really orange deep pigment, I would have so much more work to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to use more concealer. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to have to use a deeper blush to balance it all mm -hmm. out. So again, we're here for you. You have probably the perfect shades in there that are team brass for you. But at the end, again, if there's anything you need, we got you. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we have corrected. Now it's time to conceal. This is our faux filter luminous matte concealer. How many of you played with this before? Okay, a good amount. Well, I'm really excited for those of you who haven't, because this is going to be your new favorite concealer. It gives you that beautiful matte finish, but the name is kind of like an oxymoron, right? Luminous and matte mm -hmm, together, mm -hmm. but it really is this beautiful hybrid product because you're getting that longevity that you want and expect from matte products, but a little bit of hydration that's super, super key for that delicate under eye area. We have 29 shades to choose from. There is a little bit of everything for everyone and a much more broad range of undertone. 
goldens, more kinkies, neutrals, more red, richer tones as well. So we can play. Today we're going to be going with quite a bright shade for mm -hmm. Taylor. I like to think of these as two shades of concealer. You've got your just everyday classic concealer mm -hmm. shade that maybe is for blemishes or you want to skip out on foundation. And then you've got your snatched shade. Yep. This is like three or four shades lighter. Maybe yeah. it's five. Hello. Crazy. Hi. <laughs> you see, you get it and you understand. <laughs> That's what we're going to be doing today. So I'm going to show you how you can really carve it out and get that beautiful. This is Yoga Drops 1.5. So we're going to brighten it up right in that inner corner so and a little bit on that outer edge. This might be and then I'm going to put some on the back of my hand just so I have a little bit more control for the other areas that I want to highlight and brighten. Taking that same brush, because I really just want them to melt in seamlessly together, and pressing right in, and I'm going to be bringing that down a little bit. Beautiful. And these two formulas melt in together because they're pretty much the same formula. It's derived from, excuse me, the corrector is derived from our concealer. So that's why they play so well together. They melt in really, really beautifully. And then I'm going to just take a little bit of my finger, press that in, and then we're going to kind of bring it out a little bit towards her temple. So blending as you go. And then bringing that down just a little bit. But you'll see once we go in with our setting powder, it's all going to come to life. Beautiful. Now I'm going to just lay it on the other side. So we're going to end up using praline. The brush itself is very similar to the finger. And then I like to just do placement and kind of give a very diffuse by tapping and dragging at the same time. I need to create a natural highlight. I like to keep it in the inner fourth of the eye area and then bring it down to the nasal so that we're creating evenness and then also brightening at the same time. It's very hydrating but still mattified at the same time as well. And since it has the sweet almond oil, it's going to give you natural brightness. You can see already. So you get that very I'm awake mm -hmm. seven minute glam without having to put so much effort yeah. into it. Since we're already wearing an eyeshadow, I'm also going to bring it into the brow area so that we can transition the eyeshadow to look more like skin. And it's going to create the natural highlight. Oh, I like that tip. That's mm -hmm. a new one. Just gives you more of a seamless look so that it looks very symmetrical all the way through with the gradation of color. And now you can't really tell one from the other. Mm -hmm. It's about the same. It's making. Okay. So what shade are you using? I'm using Praline. Yeah, or which is going to be a neutral shade. Would you say that's her snatch shade or probably mm -hmm. her everyday? What is that? Could be both. Ooh. Ooh. Could be both, depending on how much you apply. You so since we're doing a softer effect, we're not applying as much, but if we were to build it, it could become a snatch shade. Mm -hmm. Love it. Have fun with your makeup. There are no rules. Yes. Can you talk about whether or not there needs to be dry time for the color corrector before applying the concealer? Absolutely. I honestly feel like maybe 15, 20 seconds is really all you need. Okay. Especially if you're pressing in with your finger a little bit, the heat in your body temperature will start to melt that in and dry down. Yeah. But they have a pretty good dry down time. Okay. You can play with it, build it up, and then it will set perfectly. Perfect. One thing I will say though, before you go in with your easy bake powders, you want to make sure that under eye doesn't have a single, any bit of creasing, like mm. none. Because once it sets, it's set and stuck. Done. Mm. I absolutely set a crease before, and it killed me all day. <laughs> all I could see was that little line. But it just shows you the power of these it setting works. powders. Mm. They do not play. You will have 10 hour wear with that. I have been using them long before I ever even worked for the brand because they are a kid favorite for mm. me. I can't do makeup on a client without them because the longevity is magical. How many of you are familiar with Easy Bake? Okay, a good amount of this room. We know. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. It's our best seller for a reason. Actually, last year, our shade Cherry Blossom, it sold out over 10 times. Yes. And that single shade amassed over 3 billion views on social. Like, blew my mind. <laughs> 
So that's what we're going to be using today to set and bake Taylor's beautiful face. We are going to be starting <laughs> off with the cutest puff in the whole wide world. These tiny little beautiful little heart puffs. But I like the smaller puff for control and precision. So you're really going to be able to place this exactly where you want it. And I'm going to be leaving for cheeks because we're going to get kind of back to that. But pretty much anywhere I added concealer, I'm going to be using that to brighten up the face and adding that bit of setting powder. So we have our new limited edition fragrance-free shade. Mm. I'm not going to tell you which side I'm using which. Mm. And we're going to see at the end if we can tell the difference at all. Because truly, the only difference in the formula is it doesn't have fragrance. Mm. And honestly, I don't even remember which one's which. So it was test for me as well. <laughs> all right. So with baking, it's um, more of a trust the process type of application. So it looks a little crazy until it looks perfect. So I'm picking up a good amount on my cup, and I really want to saturate that cup. You can, of course, tap a little into the back of your hand if you don't want any fallout. But with baking, you do want to pack on quite a lot of product. Mm. The longer you bake, the more intense that glow and highlight will be. Oh, like I said, you want to just make sure that it's seamless, pressing in so we have no lines or creasing, and then we can go in and set. So just placing that right under the under eye. I'm going to take it a little bit on the bridge of the nose as well. And then cutting that outer corner. Beautiful. And then I'm going to take a little bit just right in the center of the chin here. I'm going to go right under the cheekbone as well, just to kind of carve that out. And so with the concealer, we're kind of using, and the powder, we're kind of using that to reverse contour in a way. So instead of going in really deep pigments on her cheekbones, we're going with light pigments underneath that. So think of light as pulling forward, mm -hmm. and anything dark is going to pull back. So anywhere we just want her to look bright and lifted and sculpted is we're applying this. Okay, now to the other side with the other one, whatever it may be. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and set. Um, honestly, I say throw all rules out the door. You kind of got to go with your personality mm -hmm. on how you're feeling that day, what's your mood. So I'm going to use a brush um, that's going to be, I guess, say pointed, a little bit fluffy to help to press in when it comes underneath the eye area so you have a soft effect. However, if you do have any expression lines, I do like to go in with the puff to really press in those areas so that it folds into the lines versus having separation, and then go through with the brush and just slightly dust away. So I always double check, make sure that everything is set exactly where it needs to be before setting in. If I like to go in, we're going to use the peach pie. I like to roll it into my hand. And just go back to my hand when you need it. And we're going to lightly press. So just to let me know that she wanted more of a demi matte look. So mm -hmm. all of the easy bake that we're going to use is going to be center part and T zone, not touching any of the outer areas. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love that. She knows what she likes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can see. Way. How it's pressed in, it sets it, it looks very seamless, and you can tell the difference from a very soft matte look and still having the dewy glow. One of my favorite things about any of our matte products, mattes get kind of a bad rep in the industry. It, people like to say it looks flat, or it's drying, or it doesn't blend as well, but I disagree. I think matte looks so beautiful on the skin. And you can have fun with it. You can go that under the eye, maybe a glowy cheek if you want. But to me, nothing is going to give that beautiful filtered finish without a matte product. Mm -hmm. And in photos, it is unbelievable. Already, just that lift, it's giving out like you need lift with that beautiful <laughs> cheekbone. But, all right, so now that we've baked with the loose powder, it's time to go in with our easy bake pressed. Has anyone tried the pressed powder yet? Not enough of you. Okay, <laughs> this is a good day because you get both the pink and the peach shade, so I'm excited for you to play. 
The main difference is you're getting a press and loose, obviously. But with press, it's going to be a little more compact. So it's going to be a denser coverage. You're going to get more coverage with this. So I like to take a smaller puff. They get smaller. It's the best. And I'm going to really just focus on that tip of my puff. Because I want to take this as more of a targeted approach with this powder. So I'm going to focus just inner corners and outer corners. But the main difference is you're getting a really traditional baking powder with our loose. And this is something that we like to say is like speed baking. You don't have the time to bake. Take a big fluffy brush, lightly dust all over, take your puff. It's also great for touch-ups throughout the day, and it does come with its own puff inside. Just like a little silicone puff. Perfect. So I'm sticking with the pink theme. I want super, super bright skin today. So this is that gorgeous cherry blossom in the press. A little here, whatever you want. And then you can manipulate the puff however you need to give you that beautiful application. But I really like focusing on that inner corner. So you're getting kind of a highlight without actual sparkle pigment. Mm -hmm. Use the peach pie. And instead of doing the inner corner, because you know like how it's already set, I'm going to do a little bit using our puff and come up right above the cubic bow to create a highlight. Ooh. Yeah. It brings it all together, mm -hmm. gives that beautiful, useful pop, and I feel like it's just going to marry all the tones and colors. If we left her like this, it would feel a little flat, right? We need that lift and pop. Yeah. So, our incredible Cheeky Tints. This is a delicious, creamy blush. Super easy to use. You all have the shade Fatty Berry. It might look really deep for some of you, but I promise it just melts into any skin tone. I hate the word universal in beauty, but I promise everyone in this room can wear this gorgeous shade. It truly does look beautiful on everyone. So I'm actually going to use the back of my hand, and I'm going to mix a couple shades. So I'm going to take Batty Berry. Look at that sheen it already gives. Like, these are so delicious and creamy. And then I'm going to mix it with our cute pink shade. So we're staying on theme here. I'm going to take a brush and just melt them in and mix them together. And then pop right on the apples of the cheeks. But I'm keeping it a little pushed back because I really want to extend that beautiful lift on the face and keep it going. So you can build and layer these as much as you want. If you are obsessed with blush, go directly on your skin, layer, build it up, play. You could even add a little powder blush after if you really like dimension with your makeup. But already, I just love the way this gives life to the skin and melts it all in. And of course, too, there's so many different ways you can use sticks. You can take your brush and directly go on top of it, apply directly. But I just love the control of using the back of my hand. So my favorite is to use brush. Um, I like to actually stipple and tap it in to grab the pigment on the back of the bristles. And so for me, I like to say, let's start with the apple of the cheek and bring it back and upward so you get more of that beautiful effect. And then I like to squash it right into the eye to the crease color. So once again, it's like a cloud. But it's a way to just once again transition. You have five, seven minutes. You only have one makeup bag in your console. How can you make the best out of it? So you can see just kind of lightly pressing in, you get one effect, but you can also go in with your finger and tap and press it in and send away another way. So going back with the brush, bring it up, almost going towards the temple point, and then bringing it lightly right into the crease, and it's going to transition the color of the 
love loving this. This is actually the first time Tiffany and I have done a class together, so I'm learning a lot right now. Taking notes. I just love the different ways you can use these products. I think definitely across the board from the brand, you expect high glam, mm -hmm. full coverage products, but you can manipulate them in any way that you want. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So while she's finishing up her collage, do we want to guess which side is which? Can you guys tell even a difference? No. <laughs> love that. So <laughs> let's see, because I have no idea either. <laughs> So on this side, we have the traditional Easy Bake with fragrance. And then on this side, we have fragrance free. There is no difference. It's really up to you and your personal preference. Mm -hmm. I actually love the fragrance. Yeah. I like feel like I can't do my makeup without it. Mm -hmm. Like It's such a ritual for me. But if those of you who don't want it on your face, mm -hmm. we've bobbled it up for you. Yeah. And you do have it out there if you want to try it. So good. The fragrance. It so is good. so beautiful. Mm -hmm. What side did you do on this side? So on this side is the original. And then on this side, you have, that's pretty yeah, good. I can't tell at all. And that's two different shades. So you know across the board, you're getting the same exact product. Original. Oh, yeah. All right, so, so to really finish it off, we're going to do Huda's iconic mm -hmm. lip cupping technique, showcasing our new faux filler lip glosses. Mm -hmm. These are so delicious. I'm a gloss girly, so I was a little hesitant when they said they were coming out with a gloss. I was like, mm -hmm, sure. <laughs> the obsession is real. Yeah. I cannot do my lips without these now. Glassy is my personal favorite, but we're going to mix a little today, and then we're really going to show you how to create that lip contour effect. It's kind of like an ombre lip, but with a little bit more definition. So we're going to be taking rich brown shade, and we're going to be using that really just in the inner corners of the lips, then going in with warm brown to kind of connect it all. And you'll see it's just super blended, soft, even. Oh, you already know. <laughs> I've seen. So you have these deep reservoirs on each side. It picks up the perfect amount of product for every application. So for those of you that just naturally have beautiful big lips, you're not having to reapply and keep adding and adding. You're getting the perfect amount. All right. And we're going to focus right in the center of the lip, just allowing the product to kind of naturally blend to the rest of the lip. Ooh, it's such a pretty combo. So adding that glassy kind of softens the pink, but you're still getting that really beautiful hue. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do it a little bit backwards. We are going to use the blush right in the center part of her lip to bring up the natural pink and then go into the lip contour to create dimension. But it's just gonna give um, a softer effect. It's going to allow you to customize the type of nude you want that's not going to kind of still give you color. Good for the day. So I like to bring it right to the center part of the lip and buff it out. You can already see that there's a little bit of gloss, a little bit of a glow. And bring it to the upper. That's what I'm <laughs> Which shade are you using? We're using Coral Cube. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever like, I just need something that I don't want to have multiple items, your blush alone will be a great lip color. Then we're going to go in with the warm brown and just create dimension here and there. And bring it to the upper part and drag it down so you can already see that there's comfort that's coming in. I'm not necessarily going to bring it all the way down and then the fourth of the lip and drag it up. And it's giving you a soft nude that you didn't even have to try for. I feel like it's the perfect shade for her actual lip color too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just my lips a better effect. And then we'll add a tiny bit of honey. All right. <laughs> How many of you have gotten to play with the filler? Okay, a few of you. Yeah, of course. So when I'm going to have this on the back of your hand, um, I wasn't quite clear. Were you doing it so that you could get more gloss out of the clear one, or were you doing it so that the paint? 
I was doing it to mix them together. Okay. So I put them on. I mean, you could apply one and then go right over with no, the I'm other. Just curious if yeah. You're getting a different formula from like the clear one because it is more glossy. Obviously. Yes. It on. So the clear one has castor oil in it as well, mm -hmm. so it's just going to give that extra thickness to okay. it. Um, that's why I always like kind of mixing no, it. No, and I feel that when I put it there, I get that same effect. So I was curious if you knew something that I did because I was like. <laughs> Mix them together. I like customizing everything. I feel like you've got to make the shades that you want and to see, and we pretty much have a blank canvas to work with, so why not? I mean, honestly, I've been loving mixing honey and sugar baby, too, and then you could top it, but that would be like a 10-piece lip. I don't know if you want that girl like I am, but... <laughs> All right, guys, that is our class. These are our beautiful girls, snatched, ready for the day. And now it's your turn. So we're going to pass it to you. We'll put the music on. We'll have a good time. And we're here if you have any questions. Do you need a new shade or Used to never do what's best for me I was such a hopeless fool I just kept making the same mistakes, yeah That was until I found you You became the middle way Between getting no love and getting way too much I pray that you're the one who cares for me Cares enough to keep me safe Just like the sun, you showed me which way I should 